found the cows are up here. It'll be cowboy for a second. <laughs> The horse? That got to keep up. Good uh, cowboy work there, Zach. And it was complete with the rainbow. Last time I was here, I bought this horse. So now I'm taking it back to the home farm from the Amish. So got to ride it out in the road, put some shoes on it. Never be afraid of the silence. I feel like in the modern world, people are afraid to be alone, but you'll have your greatest ideas. I have my best business ideas. You'll be more creative when you're silent and alone. Sometimes I go out on the farm, not just because I love the countryside, which I do, and I love animals, but also, there's some dogs, but also because it's time when I have my best ideas. Look at the, you know, look around you. There's nothing to make you ADD. There's nothing to make Everybody highly anxious. I feel like the modern world, it's all about anxiety. So, you know, I get my best ideas sometimes when I'm in the shower, sometimes or when I'm swimming in a pool, sometimes or when I'm, you know, on a farm like this. But the one thing they have in common, all those scenarios, is I'm alone. Now, it's important to network. Don't get me wrong, like networking works, but it's for different reasons. I don't have my most creative moments when I network. I basically, you know, make new connections and it makes deals easier to do. You get new information that you can process when you're alone. So you really need, you really should be living a life that's, you know, roughly 50% alone or quiet and 50% extroverted. I think that's the best. Scientists call that ambiverted, where you're not extroverted or introverted. You're a little bit of both. How are you doing out there, Zar? He wants to run, but I'm afraid here to run because there's groundhogs. They'll, leg will go down in there and they'll break their leg. Doing a little ride here. We're going around. My neighbor's cows just got on this farm. That's all right. There's plenty of grass right now. Cows were here. You can see they ate the grass. I'm a detective today, trying to find where these cows went. All right, we reached a dilemma. It's like in a movie. We got it. We got. What do we do, Zach? This is clearly the work of Native Americans. There's probably a bunch of them around here hiding. Zach thinks they he's in the 1800s. The abominable snowman. Zach, what's your favorite saying? Uh, well, it never made sense until I just saw the horse and the water together. But you can lead a horse to water. You can't make it drink. All right, let's see if he'll drink. Come on, bud. I get it. All you wanted was grass, huh? You're like California people. Just want grass. Just got all this farm stuff. Really Mineral. We got this, posts. Ben, how much you think this is gonna cost? Well, I thought it was We're guessing. This is the small load right here. Where's the chainsaw, Ben? Or a dually. This thing has power right here. Turbo. Land some uh, one inch water pipe here so the horse can get water everywhere on the farm. It's a pain to put in, but once you have it, it's very convenient. Ah, it's starting to rain on us. Look at the rainbow, check it out. Eight hours of work. Let's see if the uh, electric fence we built works. Nine, woo, 9.3. This is a meal, look at all this. Pressed cheese, homemade cheese, pickles, steak. Armin, you get your testosterone up? Oh yeah. <laughs> One thing missing in the modern world is everybody sitting down and eating. Sam, you're not seated. 
Uh, Sam, Bernicum Serect Insight, Dermus Es Invasive Blight. That means if you're late to eat, you don't get food.